Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and finally we have here the new iOS 18 which is of course an amazing update. It brings a ton of new features and changes to iOS and especially the new customization options. So now you can customize your icons, your home screen as well as your control center and even some stuff on the lock screen of your device. It is pretty cool. Again, a lot of customization options. So in this video, I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that I think you should know on how to customize your iPhone running the latest iOS 18. And we're starting with the home screen here. Finally, we're able to actually place the icons anywhere we want on the home screen. So if you wanna create now a cool setup on your iPhone, you can do that. So right here, you can see I have this wallpaper and I have this boat on the wallpaper. What I can do now, I can just place icons anywhere I want. So if I just wanna create like a home screen here without actually covering the subject of my wallpaper, I can do that simply by dragging and placing the icons anywhere I want. They don't have to be here on the line, but I can just place them as easy as that. This is actually pretty cool. It is very, very useful as well because it, a lot of times you have like maybe let's say just a few rows of icons just like I have right here I can just place them down here so I can always reach them easier with one finger without having to reach for the top that's actually pretty useful now of course alongside with the icons you can also place widgets anywhere you want so if I have a widget like this one right here I can place it down here I don't have to put it at the top right there. Again, if I have a page where I have a couple of widgets like this, I can just have them here, or maybe I have a stack, have it here right at my fingertip, don't have to reach for the top. That's actually really, really cool. At the same time, is actually very useful. Now, another thing you can do here, which is also super useful, is that now you don't have to use the widgets panel to actually add widgets, you can even do that from icon. So if I have an icon right here, I can 3D touch on it and it gives me the options right here to switch to a widget. As you can see, now it will just switch from an icon of an app to a widget and I can even change to different sizes from here. I can go to medium and I can even revert it back to an icon as easy as that. That's pretty cool, right? Now, what's really awesome is that if you have a widget on your home screen, like this one right here, I have the small widget in this case for the App Store, I can actually change the size of this widget without having to remove the small one and add a bigger one. I just tap and hold to go to the edit mode and there it shows a grabber. I can tap this grabber and just drag it like this and now I have a medium widget or if this app offers an even bigger widget, I can just drag it down and as you can see, as easy as that, I can have a bigger widget or of course, at any time, I can even scale it down as easy as that. Now, of course, one of the coolest new features of iOS 18 is the ability to now customize your icons. And you can do that in a lot of ways. Now, the first step you need to do is tap and hold the anywhere on the screen, tap the edit button, and now go to customize. When you go to customize, you will see this bar right here. You have a few different options. So you can choose what you want to do with the colors of your icons right here. So we have four different options. First of all, you can choose the light mode, which means that it doesn't matter whether your device is on the light or the dark mode, icons always stay the same on the light mode. If you go to the dark mode, same way, always the icons will stay on the dark mode, or you can do automatic, which means that they switch based on which mode you have on your iPhone. And then you also have the tint option. Now the tint option, in my opinion, is pretty cool. It has improved a lot through the beta stages that iOS 18 has gone through during the summer. So once you tap on the tint button, what you will notice is that the icons will be automatically tinted. Now let's just go back here to the home screen and you can notice something. The icons will actually be tinted with the main color of the wallpaper. So when you have a wallpaper, it will just pick the most dominant color on that wallpaper, automatically tint those icons with that color. But of course, you can always go back there and you can choose the own color. If you have this color right here, you can choose the basically the serration of that color with this slider 
or you can just go ahead and pick any other color you want as easy as that now what's really cool is that if you tap on the color picker right there it will remove everything from the screen and just show you your wallpaper that way you can just move around and just pick any color you want from the wallpaper that you have on your device that's actually even better and then you will have this button right here which adds a tint to the wallpaper so you can use it or not use it based on the wallpaper that you have or the tint that you have on your icons you can see if it looks better with that or without that tint i personally don't prefer it because it actually just fades out the wallpaper quite a lot now here we have another great feature we have here two different options small and large well that's for the icons whether you want small icons or large icons the large icons are icons that don't actually have labels now it's pretty bad that apple didn't even add this option right here to remove the labels even on the smaller icons that would actually look even better but the only option for you here will be to move to large that way you have a much cleaner home screen with all the labels but of course the icons will be a bit larger Another part where you can customize your device with iOS 18 is of course the new control center. You can pretty much customize anything on the control center. So let's head on here. We have a few different widgets and toggles. This is a default page that you will get on your iOS 18 device once you have updated. But just like on the home screen, you can do pretty much the same things here. So first of all, you tap the plus button if you wanna add a new toggle. Now you have the ability to add toggles even pages of toggles as you can see here we have multiple pages what you can do here is add a new control from here we'll have a ton of different controls from your different tools here to different third-party apps you will have the display you will have your utilities your music your shortcuts from where you can open even shortcuts and apps and of course a search bar right there where you can search for any like toggle that you need so what's really cool is that of course you can customize this you can add your toggles and your controls anywhere you want and of course customize it and make it look any way you like as you can see you can just move around you can even resize thing very easily with this bar right here so that little slider you just drag it as easy as that you can move the icons pretty much the toggles anywhere place them anywhere you want they don't have to be on a row you can just drag this slider right here and make these buttons smaller or bigger as you can see it actually looks pretty cool so again a lot of customization options here for the control center as well it is pretty cool again you can have even like bigger widgets like this one right here for the music controls we also have one for the bluetooth and seller data and all that that just take a whole page like this it's pretty cool you will have all the controls here and again you can add multiple pages as many as you want we have another one here and we can just go ahead and add another one it's really awesome and last but not least of course is the new lock screen so with ios 18 we don't get a ton of different features on the lock screen we get actually one here that it's pretty awesome we have been asking and waiting for this feature for years now the ability to remove and change the toggles on the lock screen now what's really cool here is that you can actually remove them completely you have the choice to not add anything there at all and they will just stay like that of course the screen will be cleaner but of course you can tap here and just add any toggles you want the same toggles that you get on your control center will be here as well you can go ahead and add them and of course change the old ones that you had the flashlight and the camera now what's really cool is that these will actually be linked to the lock screen so for this lock screen i add these right here now for the other lock screens i have other ones so as you can see i added two custom ones right there but if i switch to a different lock screen it will have other so this one has the default ones as you can see they basically link to that wallpaper now what's really cool is that of course even when you remove the camera toggle right here you will still have the shortcut to go to the camera simply by swiping from the right to the left so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are a few tips and tricks that will help you learn and understand how to customize your iphone running the new ios 18. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Of course, subscribe for more iOS 18 videos coming your way really, really soon. And I'll see you guys on the next one.